After a somewhat divisive first season of Legends, we were all interested to see where the second season will take our characters and what the story surrounding the season would be. It is particularly interesting with Legends because there are no limits with it. The show revolves around the concept of time travel so they can practically do anything with it, which makes each episode unpredictable and gives them that extra sense of fun. Not as if the show was lacking any fun to begin with anyway, but you get what I mean, this show is just so much fun and just has so much to bring and offer us. So. After the defeat of the immortal villain Vandal Savage and the corrupt Time Masters who colluded him, a new threat emerges. Dr. Nate Haywood, who is an unconventional yet charming historian, makes a discovery surrounding the whereabouts of the now time-scattered legends. He seeks to help the help of Oliver Queen and together manage to get the legends back together. However, when they are back together, some new friends and returning foes challenge them. They are joined by the Justice Society of America and opposed by the legendary Legion of Doom. This show simply has one goal, to have fun and allow the audience to have fun along with it. With that said, the second season of Legends is very true to that bare bones principle as it loses itself inside of this time travelling, reality shifting world and runs with it. All of the incredible time periods we visit in the course of the season are so widespread it's incredible and the stories it creates to bind these locations together is very clever and suitable to fit the overarching story of the season it is trying to portray. Let's discuss the Justice Society of America. They were awesome in this season. They are also the catalyst when it comes to getting the Legion of Doom involved with the Legends. This is particularly relevant when we look at Rex Tyler slash Our Man from the JSA and Eobard Thorn, aka the Reverse Flash from the Legion, as these two have a scene together which sets up the season as a whole really. This leads to Omaya, aka the Vixen, from the JSA to go and then join the Legends in spirit of her partner who was taken by the Reverse Flash, uh, which was of course uh, Our Man. Speaking of Omaya, let's take a look at the new characters who joined the Legends of Tomorrow this season. So I'll start off with Omaya slash Vixen. She was a fantastic asset to the Legends and has been become a character all of us fans have appreciated and enjoyed on the screen. Her powers are unique and presented well on a TV budget and the way her character progresses and transitions as the season pro proceeds through is brilliantly executed and also interesting as you want to see more of her character and you want to see more of her powers that are shown very very well uh, throughout the season. Then there is the addition of Dr. Nate Haywood. I love Nate in this season, I'm so glad he's sticking around for the next season as he is just so damn likeable in this role. Nick Zeno does such a good job at playing a curious, comedic and vulnerable character who gains confidence when he transforms into his superhero persona known as Citizen Steel. I feel that maybe they could have shown more of Nate steeled up, however it's probably the same problem they have with Firestorm, where they don't use them too much as they are quite overpowered and therefore could solve a lot of their problems easily by using these two characters, so that's why they are quite limited on screen time. Now let's talk about the Legion of Doom. They are the best thing about this season. The team which is made up of Damian Dark, Malcolm Miller the Dark Archer, Eobard Thorn the Reverse Flash and Leonard Snart Captain Cold, they are all played off of each other so so well and they are interesting because they are incredibly dangerous individually but together are devastating. On the contrary to that however, they come across as being quite human because they are all so funny together and you sometimes would rather focus on the Legion than the Legends which you can't say about many villains. The humour was very much on point throughout this entire season as per usual. Like I have said, this show is crazy and off the wall but it is so self aware that it allows itself to get lost in the world and build humour around it as it's quite a silly situation despite the seriousness of the, of the consequences. You can always expect laughs from Mick Rory or some nerdy commentary from Ray. Their historical figures this time around were amazing, having people like Dr. Albert Einstein being marvelled at by Martin Stein, or Nate Hayward losing it when he beats J.R.R. Tolkien, or Ray having a massive fangirl moment when he comes face to face with the man who created Star Wars, George Lucas. They all provided plenty of hilarious moments between them and the legends, and also created a nice side plate to go along with the story. Overall, I believe Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 has been absolutely astonishing. The story was great, the new additions to the cast were brilliant and gave us plenty of fan service, the locations of time periods and historical figures were unmatched, and the villains were probably the best from any of the other DC shows. You have to watch Legends of Tomorrow as it is a really fantastic season and fixes the mistakes made in the first one. I could not have had more fun with the show and therefore I'm going to give it the grade of an A.